Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Kraken app and show you how to buy crypto on Kraken in just a few minutes. I'll also go through important security settings, I'll go through the fees and the deposit methods and all of the main features of the Kraken app. If you want to know how to use the Kraken website or Kraken Pro, then that will not be in this video, but I will link these down below. If you've not used Kraken before, then the Kraken app is very simple to use and is great for beginners and very similar to Coinbase. So firstly, you want to download the app from the Google Play Store or iOS Store, then you want to open the app. So from here, you want to sign in if you already have an account or create a new account if you don't have one already. If you haven't already signed up, then I have an affiliate link in the description below, which if you sign up using it, then I will get a kickback and I will be forever thankful as it really helps support this channel. Now, once you've created an account, you will need to supply KYC information, which is pretty common across most crypto exchanges nowadays. KYC is know your customer and is to prove you are not a career criminal. And so when verifying your account, you'll have to supply your address and upload a photo of your ID and take a selfie. Just be aware that verification says it normally takes a few minutes, but mine took about 15 hours. So if you're planning on buying crypto, you may want to do this in advance. Also, without verifying your account, you should be aware that the app is going to look slightly different with certain features hidden or disabled. You can also sign up and verify on the Kraken website if you find that easier. Once you've set up an account, I highly recommend setting up MFA to verify it's you through your phone when logging in. This can be done by clicking the account button on the bottom, then scrolling to security and choosing two-factor authentication and picking your authentication app of choice. If you don't have one, then I recommend Google Authenticator, which you can get on the App Store as a separate app and setting this up will increase security on your account. Also in this section, you can check which devices are logged into your account. And if there's any you don't recognize, you can raise it with the Kraken support team, which is a good security feature. While we are on this page, it's worth mentioning it contains all the app settings such as the theme for dark and light mode and your default currency. Also, this is the place where you can contact support and even suggest ideas if you think they can do something better. So jumping back to the home page by pressing the button on the bottom left, at the top we have favorites which you can customize and I'll show you how to do this in a bit. Below this we have assets showing the most popular top gainers and big dippers. If you drill into any one of these, I'm going to pick Bitcoin, it will give you a chart which you can change with the timeframes below it and the arrows on the chart indicate the highs and the lows of the time period. Then below this, there is a brief about the crypto itself. If you want to add it to your favorites, then hit the dots in the top right and it will now appear in the list on the previous page. Now to buy crypto, just press the button in the middle at the bottom. You can also get to this page from the bottom right button with all the arrows or what's called the action button. So when keying an amount, this has to be greater than eight pounds or $10. Alternatively, you can hit the buttons below to pick one of these predefined amounts. Alternatively, if you want to buy a specific amount of a crypto, you can flip between the crypto and fiat amount by pressing this button here. And this is also how you see roughly how much crypto you will be getting. Underneath this, you have options for buying now at the current price, recurring buys if you want Kraken to purchase crypto for you every week or month, and custom where you can get Kraken to buy crypto for you when a certain price is reached, which is similar to a limit order. Under pay with, you have a few options such as Google Pay. I am on a Google device, but this will offer Apple Pay if you're on an Apple device. Alternatively, you can add a card to Kraken or deposit cash. If we go to add a card first, then the card will need to match the details that you supplied when you signed up. Credit cards are the most expensive ways to buy crypto on any platform, but I'm going to go ahead and purchase some anyway using a card for the sake of this demo and I'll come on to depositing cash in a bit. So I'm going to say buy 10 pounds and if you press review, you'll see I'll be getting X amount of Bitcoin and the fee involved with this. 
It's worth noting that buying, selling or converting crypto on the Kraken app consists of a displayed fee and where applicable, a spread fee is included in the price. Spreads are basically how Kraken make money and is similar to you going to get currency exchanged where there is a buy and a sell price and the real price is in the middle. This is normal in the industry and on Kraken spreads are calculated before orders are executed and may differ for similar transactions due to the spread being based on a combination of factors such as transaction size, the asset, payment method and market conditions to name a few. So to confirm my purchase, you swipe across. So now you can see this Bitcoin in my portfolio, which is also under the pie chart button. If you want to hide your real balance figures or see your percentage holdings, you can click the eye in the top right. You can also view your transaction history by pressing the button in the top left. Now, as mentioned before, you can also deposit cash via a bank account. Now you could have done this when buying crypto, but instead I've decided to show you this by clicking on the arrow button in the bottom right because the other page is limited by your default currency. So if I press the button here, then first of all, I'm going to pick Sterling. It's worth bearing in mind the name on the bank account you're depositing from must match that on your Kraken account. And this depositing method may take a few days for the cash to show up on your account. This then gives you all the details of where you need to transfer your cash. Just be sure to include the reference note when sending from your bank. Now for Sterling, this is going to use Swift and you can see there is a three pounds fee to do this with a minimum deposit of four pounds and maximum deposit of 100K. But if I go back to another currency such as Euro, they have other deposit methods and other fees. So for example, with a Euro deposit, it can be transferred with SEPA with no fees. So it's probably worth exploring these if you have a multi-currency bank account. Also, if you're planning on depositing by bank transfer, it's worth noting that some banks in the UK block transactions to crypto brokers. Also under this button, you can deposit crypto from another exchange. So if you scroll below the fiat currencies, you can see cryptos here. And if you press one of these, it will show you your Kraken wallet address and QR code that you can copy and paste into your other broker. Also under this button, you've got the options to convert, sell and withdraw. If you press sell, you can obviously sell the cryptos you hold for cash. This is just the opposite of the buy screen and you can do this by cash amounts, crypto amounts or percentages. If you press next, you will see the fees involved and you can swipe to confirm, but I'm not going to do this right now. If you press the action button again and if you go to convert, you can pick whichever asset you hold by clicking the crypto on the top button. Then below this, you can pick the crypto you want to convert to and you can key amounts in the top or bottom depending on how much you want to convert or how much you want to convert to. You can also pick percentage amounts for ease below this. This will also give you a rough fiat amount for reference. And if you press review, you can see the fees involved and review before swiping to confirm. If you want to withdraw, you can withdraw your cryptos to another address, or if you have fiat, you can withdraw this to a bank account. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please give it a like and consider subscribing as it helps the channel massively. And now you're set up on the Kraken app, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from GetGeek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.